Hello! Today I'm going to be taking a look at this set of Super Granulation Colours by Schmincke. This is the Haze one. It's kind of a bonus set and it was released exclusively for Jackson's Art, I think. So I'm going to look at it today. This is the last one that I have and I'm really interested to see how these are going to perform. So let's get into it! So I have a whole playlist of these different super granulation sets and I'll link that at the end of the video, probably also in the description, if you're curious to see the other sets that they have. There's quite a lot of them now. <laughs> I've got the limited edition 15mm range, so each wooden box has five 15mm tubes in it. You can also get them as 5mm tubes, they come in a cardboard box. Here we go. So I'll take the little cardboard thing off it, we can see a brief preview of the colours there. I really like the wooden boxes that they come in, each one has the Schmincke logo etched into it. Let's just take a look at the tubes, this is my first time seeing them as well. Ah, oh, they're so pretty when they're brand new, they do look lovely in here, and they all come with a little cardboard insert just so that they don't move around too much. So in the set of haze we have pink, blue, indigo, brown and black. There is one other set that has an indigo and it wasn't very strongly tinting so I'm curious to know if this one's going to be stronger than that. So I'll squeeze them out into this palette that I have. You can see I've got the remnants of the other three sets which I reviewed not long ago and I figured I might as well just stick the haze in underneath. Let's get them squeezed out. Time to make a mess squeezing the tubes out, although this first one was very satisfying. It just came out in one nice little chunk of paint. But with quite a few of them, there was a little bit of binder separation. And this generally does happen with pigments that are really heavy, like these super granulating ones. Although this set was nowhere near as difficult as the previous three where binder was just coming apart from the yellow pigment a lot more. I made such a mess of the indigo here, it kind of dripped out and I stirred it all up just to make it nice and even. The brown was pretty good and the black as well, I don't know that I had too many issues with that. Okay, maybe just a little bit at the top there. This is why it usually pays to have some kind of poking stick to mix them with. So I actually painted with these straight away while the paint is still wet and they work so much better directly from tube. I have to say that once these paints dry, they are a little more difficult to reactivate. But getting to the colors, this haze pink is a mix of Potter's pink and what I think is Cobalt Turquoise PB36. It's a really interesting mix and heavily granulating. I liked that one a lot. Going into Haze Blue, we have an unidentified yellow PY49, a possible mono azo yellow. I can't really find any information on that. It's also mixed with a more standard PB29 Ultramarine and also a bit of brown oxide in that one. It's really quite blue though from that Ultramarine. Into Indigo, I love this colour. This is a mix of Ultramarine, Cobalt Green Dark and Zinc Iron Chromite Brown. It is much darker than the other one which was in the Undersea collection I think. Moving on to Haze Brown, this is a pretty standard one of Brown Iron Oxide mixed in with Black Iron Oxide or Lunar Black which is a very granulating black and it's quite easy to get that one as a single pigment on its own. Last we have Haze Black, a mix of three pigments, possible Cobalt Turquoise, Zinc Iron Chromite Brown and Black Iron Oxide. So that's a nice granulating mix. I liked all of the colours here, I thought they were quite a lot stronger than some of the previous sets, much more heavily tinting. Check these out now they're dry. Look at that haze pink. I really like that one. It's quite noticeable the difference between the red and the blue pigments. I can see both in there. And then haze blues also split out. I can even see a little bit of the yellow just around the edges or it's possibly the brown but that's really super granulating. <laughs> I love this indigo. This one is much darker than the other one that I've tried. I love the granulation in that too. Brown is maybe the least noticeably granulating. It's a very very fine kind of pigment and granulation but it's still there now I look a bit more closely and black also has some pretty colours in it. Happy about those. Now I need to think of some paintings. I ended up doing two paintings today. This first one is a wolf standing on snow with a misty background behind it 
and trees poking out of the haze. I mean, that's immediately what I thought of, is those misty kind of mountains. And I was lifting some of the paint off just to try and get a hazy effect from it. So this one I actually used almost entirely the indigo. It's just such a lovely color and I was really drawn to it. It's a very good one for monochromatic paintings. I think I added just a tiny bit of haze pink in as well, but that one will feature heavily in my second painting. I started off with quite a light indigo wash here and you can really see how that granulation is coming out in it. It's so pretty. I think cooler colours like blues just seem to granulate so much better than warmer colours. Ultramarine blue in particular is such a naturally granulating blue. It's really easy to mix that in with other colours to get some sort of granulation happening. And I did find in general that all of these colours were a lot easier to re-wet once they had dried a bit. Much more so than the yellow pigments in the previous sets that I reviewed. Those were so much more of a struggle to use. Finally painting the wolf hair, I did go in with a few layers to build up values. And I do quite like how this painting turned out with the loose, misty background. of a haze effect. Anyway, moving on to my next painting, a slightly more ambitious one that didn't work out quite as planned, but I decided I was going to paint a castle. And this one is meant to be Neuschwanstein Castle in Bavaria, Germany, which I visited many years ago. And because it is quite a pink castle, that haze pink came in really useful for this one. It's a little bit greyer because it does have that cobalt turquoise in it as well. It's not just pure potter's pink. But I do actually really like the combination together. I think it's a really interesting colour and it does granulate out into the two different pigments, which is fantastic. Less fantastic is the perspective of my painting, which I couldn't really see until the end of it, and now I see exactly what's wrong, so you can have a good laugh at it as well. I don't hate it, it's just a little bit skewed. But moving on to the background while the castle dries a bit, I used a haze blue for those misty mountains, also some of the black and indigo just to get some darker areas, and I used the brown on the castle as well. Those bits are supposed to be orange, but I don't have an orange in the set, so brown it is. So I did manage to use all five colours in this painting. I liked all of the colours, but the three in particular that I really like are the pink, blue and indigo. And I'm really curious to see how these colours are going to fit in with some of the earlier sets that also have pinks and blues in. So that will be something we look at down the line. But let me get this painting finished. It was a bit of a hot mess, but never mind. <laughs>
think I'm gonna call it done there. It's a bit lopsided around this area and I am at that point where I'm starting to wreck it if I go with any more layers so sometimes it's just best to leave well enough alone and I've noticed with the super granulation colors that the less layers you can do the better they are because it just really shows the granulation in that one single wash and unintentionally I've somehow managed to join these two together it's not supposed to be the same picture but it kind of looks like it is the wolf came out okay I'm quite pleased with that one can you see just along here how much blue there is? It's like ultramarine has come out of some of the other pigments. I'm guessing it was in the blue one. So I've used haze blue and just a tiny bit of haze indigo and both of those have ultramarine in them. It's just all sort of pulled to one side which I thought was quite interesting. And just to remind you of the swatches. So overall I really enjoyed using the haze set much more than the previous three sets that I just reviewed recently which was Volcano, Shire and Desert. And that's because those ones had that really difficult yellow pigment in them which was impossible to re-wet. None of these ones have it, so they were a lot easier. They're all really granulating. Maybe the brown a little less so than the other ones, but this pink, the blue and the indigo in particular, I really like them. The black's quite nice too. The brown is also a good colour. It's just, as I said, maybe not quite as heavily granulating. But I love the fact that the blue has just split out from the other pigments and it's really nice so I do recommend this set as one to pick up or at least maybe pick out the colors that are your favorites I think with the super granulation ones I probably mentioned it before it's probably better just to choose individual tubes of the favorite colors that you like rather than having all of them because not all of them are that great and because they do cost a lot of money it might be a bit more cost effective buying single ones rather than all of the boxes not sure what I'm going to do with them all I've got so many of them but I will be making a video putting all of the tubes together in one large half pan set so do look out for that not sure when that's going to happen exactly I do have a few other videos I want to make and I think I need a break from these guys as well if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel thanks always for watching I hope you're having a fantastic day out there and I will see you all again really soon in my next video swatch you later bye